Okay, let's just log back onto our 2008 Enterprise server, and we're going to just look at a, a few more group policy settings. And again, there's so many, we really just can't cover all of them, but we'll just go over a few more um, that you may want to take a look at yourself. By the way, this copy of 2008 server you can download free from Microsoft's website. Um, comes as an ISO. I just turned it into a VMware virtual machine, and that'll give you a chance to, you know, kind of use it um, and become familiar with some of the new 2008 features. If you're interested in that, um, let's go ahead and launch our MMC. I tell you what, let's do it a different way this time. I keep showing you guys the MMC way, and we'll scan our kitty cat a different way, so to speak. Administrative tools, and let's go to server manager this time. And once we load up Server Manager, I want to go to Features. Still waiting here. There we go, and there's our GPMC, Group Policy Management Console. Let's go ahead and load that. And let's open up for our domain, and let's We'll just look at the default domain policy this time. We've set up multiple policies in different places, but we'll look at the default domain policy and just some of the things we you know, maybe haven't covered yet. Let's see, we've done software installation. Um, RIS, if you've ever used it, RIS, you can you know, set up RIS deployment options via group policy. Um, remote installation services allow someone to install an image of a Microsoft operating system. Um, over the network if they have a PXC compliant NIC card and they can boot off the NIC card. And so they don't even have to have a CD or DVD you know, in the computer. They can install the operating system and configure it right there off the network from a RISC server with an image on it. And it has to have multiple drives to have the images on one drive and the operating system on the other. But that's probably another topic um, you know, for another time. Um, scripting, they're scripting for log on and log off. And let's take a quick look at that. Um, let's make ourselves a script. We'll just make a very simple script. And let's... We'll do a text document. And we will do... We'll just call it a logon script. And give it the extension .vbs. And we'll say yes, we want to change it. Use the Windows scripting host is active. So let's just give it a short vb script command. I am a logon script, yay. And we'll go ahead and save that. And let's go back to our GPMC. And we can have scripts execute at both logon and log off. Um, we'll just copy this and we'll rename it. And you also have this for your computer. You can have scripts run when the computer boots and our, our reboots on boot and also when it shuts down, but we don't want to wait for the computer to boot up and shut down, so we'll just kind of hang out and use these logon and logoff scripts. It takes a lot less time. And we'll make this one say, I'm a logoff script. And we'll change its message. Let's go ahead and change these two now. Let's go back here. And we're going to configure our logon script Let's go ahead and add it, and you know this could be stored in a shared folder on the network, so they could be shared across the network if you want. But just to show you, we'll go ahead and have this apply our logon script VBS. Now, if they were, you'd want to make this a UNC path, a share, um, instead of a you know an absolute path. But in this case, this is fine. We'll be able to use an absolute path. If I want wanting to pass parameters to the script, I could do that here. So in this case, I have my logon script for logon. I'm going to click OK. And for log off, I'm going to go ahead and add my log off script. And again, it's on desktop and log off script. And again, if I had parameters, I could place them here. So there's my script. And OK. And let's go ahead and close this and we'll test that out real quick. So again, we're just going to run GP update. We want to update or refresh our group policy and the replication thereof. And 
and let's go ahead and log out. Notice that here's my script note. I am a log off script. Boo. And then we will log on. Going to log on, and here, and here, password, and. Remember that computer settings are applied first and then user settings. So it's applying my user settings. And now here's my logon script. After my user settings are applied, I'm a logon script, yay.